What's up, dudes? It's your boy, Daily Productions here, back with some more Rise of Liberty. In the last Rise of Liberty video I did, someone asked me to redo the siege mode, and I thought, hey, that's a great idea, because uh, we only did it that one time. I did it really poorly, and we might as well give it another go. So we're going to do siege mode real quick, which is essentially where um, you have to defend slash fortify this colonial fortress over here. So let's go ahead and deploy... And so it looks like, oh god, I only have a saber and a pistol. Not not exactly the best weapons for this, but that's okay. You know what? Melee is always the best in this game, so we're going to we're going to stick with it. Let's go up here. Okay, so as you can see, there's already like a cav charge coming in. Try and pop them. Nope. See, this pistol is just not going to have the uh the power to do so. As you can see in the top, um we it is wave 1. Um, we have 166 uh, colonial troopers with us, and the enemy has 88. So they're attacking right now. Um, they've got 130 seconds in the wave to attack, I believe, uh, unless we kill them all. So if it kills them all, I think it, we get like a brief pause, and then wave two begins. Um, and, and that's sort of how this rolls. I've already been shot once, which means uh, one more shot and I'm dead dead. So we got to be a little bit careful of that. Um, and then the other big thing is if we go and we press the escape menu, in the, in the left here you have the troops. And the troops are purchased in groups of 10. You get infantry, cavalry, puckle guns, mortars, or cannons. And right now we have $166. And I believe you accrue more money... Um, just by killing people and surviving waves of a, waves of attack and things like that. Um, so basically, we got to hold out for as long as possible here and uh, take out as many red coats as possible and keep this gosh darn base fortified. It's basically, you know, our own little bunker hill battle here. You know, just hold out for as long as possible. It doesn't matter. We just got to... Just gotta keep everything cool. That red coat really wanted a piece of me right there, but we said no, and no to you, and no to your friend as well. I, I spit in your general direction. I fart in your general direction. Beautiful, beautiful. Kills this red coat, but the bing we missed. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and we also get respawns too. Um, and I think we do respawn troopers. Do we at the end of a wave? I guess we'll have to find out. There's only 11 red coats left. Seems like they're coming at us pretty hard here. Um, now there's five. Yeah, they're like all over here. Woo! And of course, the amount of red coats that spawns in increases with every round. So, gotta watch out for that. <laughs> Get punked, kid. Also, since the last time I did this game mode, um, there have been some serious updates as well. So, uh, you know, we're getting a fresh look at it too. I hope he releases more maps for this too, by the way, because that would be so sick. All right, so wave one is complete. There are zero red coats left. We've got 20 seconds to set up before wave two begins. And I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe just like a cannon would be super helpful. Um, we've still got a lot of infantry, you know? Maybe, maybe right here. This has a nice view of everything. So we'll buy one cannon and we'll just place it, yeah, here. <laughs> you, sh you have to shoot when you place things. Oh, we can pick up this gun. Oh, that gives you ammo. That's sick. I like that. That's cool. Hey, I never noticed that. Okay, so we do have one cannon here. And here come the red coats. Let's try and bop them. Oh! That was really close to hitting the, that cap charge. Wait, we might still be able to. Hold up. Fire. Reload. Fire. Ah! All right, we killed a lot of Cav and a lot of our own troopers, I think, right there. It's a sacrifice we had to make. Um, yeah, so we don't get numbers replenished at the end of each round. Um, it looks like we have to buy those ourselves. Um, so we are actually outnumbered right now by about 10 troopers. Oh, God, I died. Um, let's actually switch our weapons up while we're at it because I think we're going to need something a bit better. Let's get the hand mortar. We've never used that before. Yeah, yeah, give me that. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, you only get five rounds with it well, i guess that's why we got a pistol too you know backup so is this literally a mortar will this kill large swaths of troopers oh my god it is it does not fire far though i mean i guess it is a hand mortar from the 18th century it's not going to go especially far right, let's see oh that was pretty good not too shabby oh they're hitting us with their own potentially hand mortars. I don't know what that explosion was. Unless that was our cannon back there. It could have been. 
All right, we need to make up this difference here, boys. We're still 10 troops behind, about. All right, we gotta keep it up. Oh, God, here they come. They're really coming for us. Oh, God. Large assault. Oh, God. Chill. Whew, I'm going ninja on them. Ninja. Ah! <laughs> big dead, big dead. But we made up the difference. It's now 81 to 80. Okay, cool. Keep lobbing them. Keep lobbing them. Get that cannon moving, baby. Looks like we are going to make up this deficit. We're definitely going to have to buy more troops next round, though. There we go. There we go. Get away from my boy here. I don't have any melee u weapons. That's kind of a problem. Maybe next time we respawn, we get rid of the hand mortar, because I'm not doing that well with it. Here, come, come up here with me, guys. Come up here. This is a great spot. All right, I want some of these guys to chill up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, died again. Okay, wait. This is a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I like it, but let's, oh, let's try the Kentucky Long Rifle. I've also never used this one. Um, I, I liked it, but I think it was just not, not working for us. Good. Some of our guys are taking up sniper positions. Oh, yeah. Is this like, so is this like a sniper rifle kind of a thing? Kentucky Long Rifle? It might be. That'd be cool. They got a Pfeiffer here. There's only 37 of their troopers left. I think right now we should just buy more infantry. Because the next wave is about to start and we are seriously understaffed. So let's get 100 infantry troopers. And then we're down to $208. They should all spawn in the middle. Or maybe they spawn next round. I think they spawn next round. I think that's how it works. Did we do it right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next wave. Next wave. Good, so we have to make sure we supply our troops before, you know. Alright, let's try and prevent these guys from killing too many more of our boys, though. Because they really are getting up here now. I, I don't have any melee weapon. Such a problem. Maybe I need secondary as a saber. Okay, here comes the, the next wave, actually, already. And we are at a, 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 a larger troop deficit than ever before. 30 troopers. All of our boys spawning out here. Guys, you need to spread out a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear goodness gracious. Good gravy. Kill that guy. Oh, God. Yeah. This is not great. Maybe we need the puckle gun. Last time around, we put the puckle gun up here, and that was, a honestly, a pretty great spot. I'm thinking maybe again. Pachance. Pachance. Should we start sniping up here? Our boys need to move around a little bit. Where's the bulk of the... Oh, they're they're coming from behind, it seems like. Oh, this, this Kentucky rifle is kind of sick, though, boys. It's kind of sick. You guys need to disperse. Okay, they're moving a little bit. They're moving a little bit. Get to the ramparts and stuff. I just don't think they had enough time between the two rounds to figure their stuff out, you know? So they're kind of in a bit of a limbo state at the moment. All right, there we go. Now they're moving out. We got a, we got a full coalition over here. And I'm, I'm supporting our boys from the top up here. Yeah, don't go too far out, though, boys. Don't go too far out. Just chill. Just chill. All right. Kapuya. Baby. Oh, this was just what I needed today. Just a nice, chillaxing day with some Rise of Liberty. Just a nice, you know, after-work chill sesh with the boys. Gotta, gotta absolutely love it. All right, there seems to be... Oh, God, they took one of our points over here. Hold up. Oh, God. They're all... They're in our base right now. Oh, no. Well, that's really bad, actually. Because then I think they can start spawning from there in between rounds. That might be right. All right. We're juking on in here. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, they're chasing me. Oh, my... There's so many of them. They're everywhere. Oh, jeez. You know what? Right now, before I forget... We're just buying 200 infantry and some cavalry. That's what we're doing. <laughs> just immediately, before the next round even starts. You gotta juke them so they don't reload and shoot me from afar while simultaneously, like, reloading so we can fire at them ourselves because I don't have a melee weapon. You just tried to take a stab at me? Nope. I think one of their guys must have gotten shot. We are winning by about 20 soldiers here. Which is great, but we do need um, to recap these flags and whatnot. And the next wave is about to start, too. Not great. You know what? More infantry. 260 infantry. What's that leave with? 
Uh, we have five dollars. That's fine though, because that should uh, set us off for like at least two rounds. We should be good. Okay, we get more money for killing people. Okay, big spawn in right here. Two hundred twenty-five enemies, three hundred sixty-nine allies. Beautiful. And it looks like uh, we are recapping these points here, which is nice. Good to see. Our cab charging the um. The last remaining redcoats who were inside the base. That was a good investment right there. Look at all of our soldiers. Oh my god. Guys, you need to spread out. You're going to be such easy pickings. Uh, I'm out of ammo on everything. Holy cow. Where's an ammo box? There was one over here. Ammo. Thank you. Here we go. Whoa. Yo, pressing T slows down time? I never knew that. That's dope. Find something new out about this game every time you play it. Every gosh darn time. Oh, jeez. It's always been my kind of dream to develop a game like this. Like, that'd be really cool to just, like... You know, not a, not a high intense graphics game, but, like, develop something, you know, small like this that you put a lot of heart into and stuff like that. I used to do a little bit of coding, um... I was actually going to do a, um, a minor in IT, but uh, I just it put a bit off too much to chew, and I had other passions elsewhere than coding, so I decided to drop it. Um, but uh, I don't know, it'd be really cool maybe like at some time in the future, like make a game for the channel, like pay some developers to execute a vision that like we have as a community you know like make it a community project maybe kickstart it something like that sink a lot of my own money into it that kind of a thing or maybe just sink all of my own money into it that way it doesn't get messy with kickstarters because there's always drama with kickstarters so like yeah, just really make it a passion project for me but also like the community so you guys can interact with it and stuff and i don't know i feel like that could be kind of a neat idea what what are your thoughts give me your thoughts a chance. I don't know. Maybe even get in touch with this guy because he did a great job. He's a solo developer who's making this game while in school, which is absolutely nutty. Like, this guy's an absolute champion. It's crazy. Doing school while also doing, like, major projects like this, it can be one of the most challenging things. Um, honestly, even just from my own experience, like, um, doing YouTube for two channels... Having a um, a job on top of that and um, having two majors, it it really does kind of you know wear you down a little bit, but it's it's very rewarding too because you know you're you're setting yourself up for the future and and, and figuring things out as you go along and it, it is a rewarding thing, but it can be a little bit like oh my god, I just need a break. <laughs> but actually, this side channel I've never gotten tired of. Um, I do have to go on breaks from it on occasion just simply due to the fact that it's a lot of, um, just a lot of things and I, I have other priorities above it, but this channel has never been one of those things where I've been like, oh my god, I need a break. This has always been like, uh, you know, a good time for me. I, I've never had a problem sitting down and recording for this and not having a good time because it's, it's so much more chill and relaxing and less serious than my other projects I'm working on currently, so it's more of a fun thing. There goes the last of our cavalry right there. We still outnumber it. It's wave five now. We went through an entire wave right there with a huge amount of troopers, and we still outnumber the enemy by just spades, but um, I think this round will will see us losing some more troopers. Um, we have 310 bucks, though, so we gained a lot of cashola from last round, which is beautiful. Um, but like I said, we're probably going to need more troopers and probably some sort of puckle gun or cannon or something, because... We're having trouble keeping up with the enemies right now. Yeah, we do have a like a almost a hundred trooper lead though, still. So that's pretty good. It's also nice that we got the defenses. So <laughs> that's huge. I think that cannon is is a big up though. Like this thing is massive. Let's try and oh, I think we move up a little bit. Wait for it to reload. It's about halfway done. Try that one. Nope. Need to move it up. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! 
It kicked me off of it. What? Help! Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. How about that? Might have been a little far. Lower it. Oh, God, we're actually getting hit pretty hard right now. A couple of cab troopers, too. All right, I think we need to buy a puckle gun. It's a hundred bucks. Oh, that's a lot of cashola. How about right here? Let's see what we can do. Yes! This thing's a beast. So much better than the cannon. I think it's got infinite ammo, too. Yes. So fast. It's like an early Gatling gun, basically. Oh, I died. I actually died. <laughs> okay, wait. How much money do we have left? 328. Okay, let's get more troopers. I think a second puckle gun. Maybe on the flank. The flank has been one of the roughest places. The flank has been tough. So... While there's not really anyone over here, let's get a puckle gun. I don't know. Right here? It doesn't have a ton of cover, but it's got that nice, like, 180 view. So I think that's going to work out well. Oh my god, the enemy... I didn't buy enough troopers. Cav charge, too. Oh god. Wait, let's get on the puckle gun. I get to the puckle gun! Ah! Oh, jeez. Okay, he, he killed me. The puckle gun mans itself, which is kind of sick. Alright, deploy me in. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. They're coming at us hard. Puckle gun, do your thing. I'm going up here. I'm running. Wave six is a toughie. Oh, jeez. Oh, they killed me again. God dang it. Yeah, deploy me in, Scotty. Hmm, maybe we need another... Oh my god, I keep dying. They keep just getting me. They're just popping me. Wait, give me a puckle gun. Pop it right there. That'll help stem the tide of war over this way. All our troopers are facing that way. They're not are facing the the butt. <laughs> Except our puckle gun. Our trusty puckle gun. Look at it go. Right, we're going to man the, the puckle gun directly, I think. There we go. Yes. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh god. Kill him. Kill him with puckle gun. Oh god, I need to get off. I think I died. I heard the oof. Oh, okay. Just keep on dying. Every time I spawn it. Okay. Okay. I'm getting like one shot off every time I respawn. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Give me another puckle gun. No, we can't afford one. How about a mortar? Give me a mortar. Pop it right there. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Start lobbing shells. You you got that mortar. Use yourself. Is the puckle gun still going? Not really. There we go. Whew. Oh. Where'd our mortar go? Oh, it's right here. Are you launching? It looks like it, it might be moving itself. Oh, I died again. This might be it, boys. This could be it. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. Yeah, they're surrounding us. Retreat. Retreat back to the flag. That's where all our boys are left over right now. At least we do have some barricades over here. That's somewhat of a relief. But then, now they outnumber us by 100. I needed to buy troopers, not more puckle guns. Oh, I thought the puckle guns could carry us to victory. Clearly that was not the case. Oh god, wait. Next wave is almost up. So that means we can buy a little bit of infantry and a little bit of cab, but that's it. That's all our resources. Spent it all on puckle guns, god dang it. Okay. Got the kill on that guy. One second. New wave. 300 enemies. 68 of us. 400 enemies. Oh my god. They increased. Guys, I think this might be it. God, they have so much cav too. Holy cow. Alright, we're gonna go down to our boys. I'm gonna fight alongside them. Try and help our dudes. For the colonies. And British tyranny. 
taxation with representation, lads. Ah! Oh! There's, yeah, there's, there's no way. There's eight of our troopers left. Six of our troopers left. Oh my god. Give me the puckle gun. Puckle gun. Puckle gun of justice. Okay. There's none of our troopers left. We lost. <laughs> no! <sighs> ah, what are our stats? We got 198 kills, 58 melee kills, 51 deaths, and two losses. Oh, that's of all of our siege modes. Okay. That's not in just this one. That makes sense. Wow. Well, then. Wave 7. I think that's a new record for us. I think. Um, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe if you did. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.